Well, Jake Nickel of Threadless.com. Now, I've been studying, you know, crowdfunding and doing interviews. I've done like 700 interviews, and I didn't realize you guys are really the founder of crowdfunding. I've done 700 interviews on crowdfunding <laughs> before I talked to the founder of crowdfunding. God, you've been at this since 2000? I mean, Kickstarter didn't start until like 2008 or 9 or something like that. And you guys have been doing this and you're a big company now, just you, you dropped out of art school to do this? Is that screw this? nonsense they're teaching me I just do it <laughs> and that's what art is all about just do it man don't do it don't ask anybody what's good or not you know do it for you and see if you're speaking to somebody else but now you have two really projects here right and and one is your main business which has been at it for you know 15 years where I could put my design if I have a t-shirt idea I put it on your website no cost right Right. You don't charge me anything. I just send a, a what a PDF file or something like that of the design. Yeah, just a JPEG. J I'll anything. Like. You put it on your site, and if people like it, you print the sucker and give me money, huh? Exactly. <laughs> so how? So you have nothing to lose by doing that, right? No. Yeah. I mean, what's nice is with the voting process, we know people will like it. So if we print it, we know that people are going to um. purchase it. Um, and yeah, we just share, we provide you with earnings on every time a unit wow. sells, we give you part of that. So, so they sell the t-shirt for maybe like $25 and then you send me $7 a shirt for the rest of my life, right? Yep. Every time one sells, you get $7. Wow. I mean, you know, when I heard that, I mean, God, God I mean, I would have got, you know, like I, I did, wrote a bunch of books for people in New York, a couple, you know, sold real well and, and they had $25, man, I would get like a buck. <laughs> if you get hired by like Quicksilver to design a t-shirt that's going to go out in thousands of stores, going rates like 300 to 500 dollars. And on, th on Threadless, I mean the seven dollars, we've sold shirts where we've sold over a hundred thousand units wow. of one shirt, you know. Um, so people make almost a million dollars on this with a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and on these shirt manufacturers, you're getting a couple hundred dollars. Uh, where you, it's unlimited. Yeah. yeah. And you know it's going to sell something because you already pre-sold it in a way because it's so popular on the website. Right. Yeah. We already have an indication. Oh, people want this design. Yeah. Now, when you do that, I mean, so if I put it, so what comes to my mind, like the other Kickstarter sites, do I have to get my community to vote for me? Is that what people do? You know? Um. On Kickstarter, that is kind of how it works. Although the, there is the discovery on Kickstarter, yes, where yes, somebody can go on and find yes. stuff. But on Threadless, it's a little bit more. You know, we market you on Threadless.com. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about fitting out, figuring out how to use social media on you because we're, we're, you did all that more or less. Well, I, I mean, you don't have to, but I think it will have a positive effect on your sales if you do that. Yeah. But it's not as indicative on these other crowdfunding sites. It seems like, you know, if you're getting 10, 20 percent, you know, just traffic falling in is a lot. But actually, that happens more on the front end of like when you post your design to be scored. That's where it's almost more important for you to pass it around and tell people go vote uh, on this because I, I want to get printed. Because that's when it means something. <laughs> but you know what's interesting? It's not so much about social. You know, the most meaningful thing is still email. I think like really? if people submit a design, like just email all your friends and family, Crazy. tell them about it. Yeah. it. Works much better than tweeting about it. You're you're showing your age or what? <laughs> I'm constantly surprised at how effective email. Is. I know, likewise. I mean, I still work the same. I, I social media. I mean, I, I just have. To, I know I have to be there, but I'm not making money at it. But I, the only people making money at social media are the ones teaching you how to make money at social media. <laughs> So that's one deal I could do. So if I'm an artist or have an idea, and I guess I don't even have to be a, uh, a perfect artist, I just have an idea for something, Somebody else, get somebody else to sketch it, send it to you, and uh, uh, I'm there. Uh, now the other thing that you're about to say, is it out there now, the artist shop? Well, what's out now, we've launched like 40 of the shops so far, but you can also reserve a shop right now. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's this thing called artist shops where artists could set up their own e-commerce store for their own brand, like their own domain name. Mm. Like they basically have their own shop. 
So I could have Lesco t-shirts. Yeah, dot com. Ooh, I could have question mark t-shirts. Yeah, <laughs> and then what? what's great is that you don't have to do any of the- I don't have to do anything. Wow, now you're, now that's America. That's America. <laughs> totally free, whenever- Free, that's America. <laughs> Whenever somebody buys one, we'll print it and we'll ship it to them and we'll deal with any customer service problems. And Wow! <laughs> and now I don't get seven bucks, I get what? Ten bucks. Ten bucks! <laughs> because it's my store, right? <laughs> wow, so I get 40, 50% of the stuff and if it's a higher price, then I get more percentage. Uh, and God, I don't nothing, you know. And you're printing it, you're you're figuring out all that stuff, shipping and everything. And I just have to have the brilliance of the idea. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Upload your artwork, and then from there we'll do the rest. Yeah. Wow. Well, what is so? It's like instead of putting a shop on Amazon, if I did, oh, I'm going to sell T-shirts and get it on Amazon. Man, I got to figure out how to print these suckers, how to mail it, uh, customer yeah. service, all that kind of nonsense, and. Which is such like, and not only that, but invest all the money in buying that inventory. Yeah, and get stuck with the garage full. You know, I have yeah. books like that. You want a wallpaper or basement, I'll send you a couple thousand <laughs> books I never sold. <laughs> yeah, it's nice not having to worry about that stuff. So in other words, you don't have, I mean, I could just sell one t-shirt and I'm making money. <laughs> I mean, and this is the new technology, old technology. I, I, I'd have to sell 5,000 before I made a penny. <laughs> yeah, on-demand printing technology for t-shirts has just blown up. Really like the past two, three years, it's gotten to be on par with screen printing. Wow. Um, so we're all over it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just blew the t-shirt business away. But now you put everybody in the t-shirt. Everybody loves t-shirts. You know, it's a great idea. And, and even to, you know, you're sitting there with any kind of ideas. I mean, you have a saying, you know, like Trump sucks or something. And you want a t-shirt made. <laughs> you can just have one made from you, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you could use it to just buy yourself one or try to yeah, right. get other people to buy them. Right. <laughs> well, so in other words, for the artist shop, I don't have to win any popularity contests. Right. right. I mean, where that will come in, we will be looking at all the shops that get started right. and we'll be curating them and promoting them through our channels too. So there will be, you know, if it's a really nice shop, we'll probably talk about it. Through. But you're just going to sit in the corner. <laughs> If nobody likes it, but at least I get I get my one shirt, <laughs> and, and, and I gave it a shot and, and try. I mean, I, I've written like a hundred books and only ten made any money, and so I know I'm wrong ninety percent of the time. So, <laughs> so this is a great place to be wrong, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because there's no risk. Yeah, it's just wonderful. And so Threadless, find you, it's Threadless, T-H-R-E-A-D-L-E-S-S.com. I went, I flunked English at Marquette, see? So I know if there's people like me out there who have trouble with spelling, which I still do. By the way, I took the SATs again recently. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, and I got the same shit I did like 50 years ago. What'd you get? Uh, I got like a 450 in math. And uh, and English was a little better. It was 600. The first time I got like 450 in English again. Uh, I never read a book. See, I got the opposite because I was terrible in English. But then I, I, I only missed one on the math side. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but that was now. When I was going to college, I got 450 on both. You know, that's how bad I was. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> I didn't score. So threadless.com and artist shop. How do we find that? Threadless.com slash artist shops. Okay, threadless.com slash artist shop. Look at it. Look at this thing. This is the way the country's going. I mean, now 30% of us are freelancers and we have to learn how to make money, you know, uh, creating our own job, doing the stuff we want to do. I mean, to me, it's nuts. Why do we go into something we hate all fucking day long? <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, you can just sit in your apartment. Sickness and everything. Do something you love and here's a way to do it. And now they're saying this is going to grow. Things like this in our saying they, they estimate like 50% of us will be working like this. So that's why you're providing an opportunity for us to do that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jake. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. You. you got good stuff here. Thanks for helping us. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Bye.